Linear equations, example one again, questions E and F. Um, so we're going to follow the same processes again. Question E can actually be done a couple of ways. Whenever you've got brackets, you are allowed to expand the brackets first, which can actually make your life really easy sometimes. For this one, we won't worry about expanding the brackets. Okay. Um, all right. So first of all, um, you'll notice there's something inside of brackets. Now, if you look at Sam did, brackets actually have to be done last. So we're going to ignore the minus one and we're going to ignore the times two for now because they're inside the brackets. What we will focus on is the negative three. This is negative three times whatever's in the brackets. And we need to do this first because brackets need to be done last. So we're going to divide by negative three, which completely cancels out the negative three. And we're going to do it to the nine as well. All right. What does this leave us? Well, it leaves us with what was in the brackets which now doesn't need the brackets since there's nothing um, connected to the brackets or next to the brackets. Nine divided negative three is negative three. All right, now this becomes really simple to solve. We can go back to SAMDIB. Subtraction should be done first. So the opposite of minus one is plus one. Leaves it, leaving us with two E equals negative three plus one which is negative two, all right? Remembering that's times two. The opposite of timesing two is dividing two, okay? Divide two, divide two. Giving our final answer, which is negative one. All right, so let's look at question F. Now, this can be confusing because what we have here is we have a few operations happening. We've got minus 2, we've got times 4, and we've got divide 5. And some people try and add the 2 first because by SAM did, that's what happens. But what you need to understand, whenever you see fractions, there's actually always what's called hidden brackets on fractions. This fraction has a hidden bracket here, hidden set of brackets. And the reason for that is whenever you see fractions, you should work out the whole top part as well as if the whole bottom part separately and then you divide it last. So whenever you see fractions, put um, brackets around them. Technically, there's actually brackets around the five as well. But since there's only one number on its own, it's not necessary to do that. Okay, so brackets at the top and bottom of the fraction. Anyway. We know to do brackets last, so we're going to focus on the divide 5, and we go to times 5, which will cancel the 5. We need to do it to the 2 as well, leaving us with 4f minus 2, no brackets needed now, equals 10. And now we can do our normal process focusing on the minus first, so we'll plus 2, um, giving us 4f equals 12 and finally dividing 4. Now I'll just show you a little trick. Rather than writing divide 4 you can do it as a fraction. Some people prefer to do it this way. They find it a bit quicker. Um, leaving us with f equals 3. 